Hi, Ann Cornick from Paint and Porcelain. I'm here to teach beginners how to get started in China painting, but this project that we have today is actually a little bit tricky, so I would say it's it's aimed at recruiting the experienced painter to paint along with me. And um, we're going to paint the second fire on our grapes today. So um, let me show you what the first fire looked like. This is my first fire. And I was so darn thrilled with this that I almost didn't want to paint over it. And when I started doing the second fire, it really turned out fabulous. I'll show you what my second fire works like, but it's going to take three fires on this plate, mainly because it's a big plate and also because I realized I had everything looking the same value and I don't want that. Now, I already started the third fire uh, on this and you can probably see over in this area, I put a lot more depth in, but the rest of it's all still the second fire. Uh, we are going to um, hopefully come up with something that looks a little bit like more like this than this because the top part I've been working on um, so that you can kind of get an idea of what the fire should look like. We're going to talk a little bit about colors and these are the colors you're going to be using but before we do that you see these two down here they have all that glop down there now you know when you get done painting and you put your brush in oil and you pull the paint down that's what you get right? Well you need to take before you start painting you need to take a Kleenex and you need to wipe that off. That's where a lot of you were, oh, excuse me, that's where a lot of you are getting your um, oil and your dust from if you go back into that. And so you don't want to go back into that. What you really want to do is wipe that off so then you just have the paint and hopefully that won't be the area that has the dust collection. We're using every color in the book. We have warm brown green up at the top here. We have a heliotrope. Uh, air blue, cobalt, rich brown, um, this is American Beauty, I have red grape, I have, um, oh, that's yellow brown too, I couldn't even read my own writing. This is another, like a, uh, a royal blue or a cobalt blue. We have cool shadow if you have it, if not, baby blue is fine. A yellow, a light green, chartreuse, moss green, and I have an orange. I um I have an orange that I got from um what's her name Paula White and I I really like that orange it's a very 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 bright orange but this is going to take us three weeks three fires to do the other thing I would say if you have it today is you probably need like a medium brown if you have it if not just use your um um let's see what is this this is the rich brown use it and just use it very lightly or mix it with maybe a, a little bit of um yellow brown just to lighten it up a little bit because you'll need a little of that now on my first fire one of the things that i did before we came in here and i always do this before i start with the next class i'm not really holding it straight am i there that's straight is i look at it very carefully and i decide is there enough on this plate and this one I, i'm pretty happy with but this area oops this area over here I really wanted something more in. And so I put in a shadow leaf and you can see I've already drawn it in. Now, why did I draw it in? Because I'm not putting background on this piece. I'm just gonna leave it like this because the edge is tinted. This is a some plates that I got that had a yellow edge already on them. And I thought, well, why not use these? So um, that's what I did. And I draw it in so that it makes it a little bit easier than when I go to paint it in. Um, and also so you can see my placement and what I had in mind. Um, so let's get started. Um, in order to know what I was doing where, I took my line drawing, and you might want to do this too, just so you can keep track. And I wrote down the color I used and the brush I used so that I knew how I got started on this. Again, I'm starting with the berries. Um, I'm going to be using... Um, the um, American Beauty and uh, the blue on this. This side, the light side is air blue, as you know. And uh, this side, the dark side is more like a cobalt or a royal blue. And then in between, I have this, um, this American Beauty. If you don't have American Beauty, you could use Violet of Iron. It would work, I think, just about as well. Um, I'm using my quarter inch or half inch, uh, quarter inch quarter inch. 
on this. Let me make sure there's no paint on it. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around. Now, this guy, this guy, this guy, those are all under these. Well, this one's on top of the leaf. These two are under. So the tops are going to be darker. Um, this guy is under everything. So he's going to be dark almost all the way around. This side of this is under. So you have to play with it and look at it and see what you want to do. So the only two that are on top right now are this one here and probably this one here is on top everything else somehow has something above it wherever I have anything above it I'm going to take my American Beauty and mix it with a dash of uh, royal blue or cobalt blue to give it some shadow no matter where it is on the grape okay look. so we're going to start out with um, this guy's on top, so I'm just going to do American Beauty on him. I'm just going to do it on this side. Here we go. Get a little more here. This side here. You remember, this is your light. You have to leave your light. And I'm taking air blue and putting on this side because, oops, I need to clean my brush. Shouldn't have started with the dark. Should have started with the light. Um, I'm going to put air blue on this side. because he's on top and air blue is the lightest I've got. Okay, and then the same thing here. I said this guy's gonna be on top. I'm putting my air blue on this side and I'm putting my American Beauty on this side. I start kind of at the bottom and I use C strokes to bring it around. C strokes to bring it around. And then you've got to look at it. Now here, I see I've got a little dot at the top. I don't like that, so I'm just going to push it over. This guy, I don't think I have quite enough at the bottom, so there. Now, sometimes you touch it, and you love the way it looks, and you touch it, and you love the way it looks. Leave it then. Don't play with it. Dog on it. Don't go back and keep mussing with it, because you're just going to make a mess. Okay, so now I'm taking American Beauty. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of, you know, your banding blue, cobalt, royal blue, whatever color you have. And I'm going to start going on the, these guys that are back here. So these guys are in the shade, right? So I'm going to pull the, the blue around. It has some of the American Beauty on it. And then I'm going to take and put the American Beauty on this side because this is a, really supposed to be kind of that color grape. And I still try to leave a little bit in the middle. Okay. Is everybody following? We work from the top one down. So this one is next to those. I've got my American Beauty and I can put it on first if that'll help you a little. I'm not going all the way to the bottom because my light's kind of right here. Coming in from this side like here. And so you want it to wash this side here of all of these grapes. So that's why I'm not covering the grape on that side. And this guy here needs it a little, so I'm gonna do it here. But not a lot, because I, I want that to have a nice, a nice color there. So do you see what I mean? You're not going around the whole grape. You're trying to give it a, a round ball type, type look but you're not going around the whole grape. Now back in here, it's gonna go up and in, so I'm gonna add a little tinge of blue just to kind of tuck it back there. There we go, okay? And I kind of like the way I have these little strokes there, but they're a little pronounced. Sometimes you can use your finger to knock them down, so keep that in mind. Up here, again, American Beauty, And I have to go down to here because this guy's on top, right? This guy's not on top. So I want to put him behind. So I'm going to put a little American Beauty down there too. Now it looks a little lopsided. It's supposed to right now. So I'm going to pull this down this way. And then I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to get a little bit of the air blue because we're still on the light side of these bunch of grapes. And I'm going to put it right here. Oh. 
You need a little more pronounced air blue. There we go. Now, you can't really pull the air blue into the purple or into the American Beauty, but you can pull the American Beauty out. So that's what you do. You pull it over the other. Now down here, this leaf is over this. This guy is kind of behind these two. So we're going to take our American Beauty with a touch of cobalt, banding, whatever you have, and we're just going to... The idea is not many strokes. The fewer strokes, the lighter the stroke, the better you'll do. And remember, see, I don't have these as pronounced as these, right? This is the final fire. This is the second fire. So you just want a hint where you want to see the shadow this time so that you don't forget for next time. I'm going to pull a little shadow there. And then this guy's really buried. He's buried under that, and he's buried under that. So I'm going to take and do it in the purple, or American Beauty, or if you have um, Violet of Iron. And I'm now I'm going to take the blue, because I want to tuck them in up here. I'm going to take whatever blue I have, cobalt, royal blue, banding blue, and I'm just going to, I'm just, look how light my touch is. Do you see I'm barely holding this? And then over here, I think I'm just going to do the blue because he's really back there. This guy's kind of, I don't know, up on top, behind. I haven't decided yet. These two, obviously, are under that. So clean my brush. Try to keep your colors pure. I'm going to take my American Beauty and go under here. And I'm going to go a little under on this side, too, and this side, because he's, like, super buried. He's a super buried one. So I'm doing this, I'm doing this, and I'm doing this. I still try to leave a little bit of highlight on him so he's there. I don't know if I can do that. Oops, I messed this guy up. That wasn't good. Okay. I don't think I can. I think I have to. There. That's not too bad. I'm going to take a little royal blue on him, and I'm just going to put it on this side. Oop, lean a little more. You have to get it about to cover about half the brush in or when you put a, a, a shading color on. If you only go up to the corner, that's not going to do it for you. And see, that's the problem I'm having. I can't get it on half the brush. There we go. You can tell when you get it there. And then tuck them back into the corner if you can a little bit. That sometimes helps. There we go. Okay. American Beauty, we're up in here. I still have some blue on, can you tell? I'm not going to change that. I'm going to leave him on top because he looks like he wants to be on top. So I'm going to pull that out a little bit. I'm going to put a little more of the blue on this side. Okay, this guy's a very unusual grape. He's almost blue completely. So I am going to have to take some of the American Beauty and just sort of make him less blue. But I kind of like his the way you can see through him. And so I'm, I'm just doing the American Beauty on the bottom of him, but then I'm fading out because I kind of like that. Is that weird? I kind of like that. I can always decide not to like it on the next fire. Now here... I covered up my my little bit of daylight there. So I'm going to use this. Let's see if I can find it again. No, nope, really can't. Okay, it's gone. Um, American Beauty and Royal Blue. I'm using it here to put this guy under. Now, he doesn't look like he's underneath, does he? Hang on. Got to get rid of the blue. I got too much blue on my brush. Okay, so how do we do that? How do we make this edge go on? We take one of these and we just sort of do that. If it'll help, it really won't. Then we take a little more blue and put it here. And that'll help. 
Okay. Uh, American Beauty. I'm just doing the bottom of this. Now we're getting down to the easy guys. This guy's actually on top. Oh, too dark. But I'm just going to make him on top as if he were purple American Beauty all over because I um, kind of need a couple of that are really, truly American Beauty. So, okay, and then down here, I'm going to go back to, and I'm cleaning my brush right now and putting some fresh oil on. I'm going back to the air blue down here and putting some air blue in here. It would be nice if you could do these like a, um, almost like a assembly line, but you really can't. And so the best thing you can do is um, do them individually so that you make sure that you put the right people on top when it's time. Now this guy, I'm just putting color on the edge. This guy, I'm just putting color on the edge. They're not the main focal point here. These guys are. And this guy, I'm just putting, and this is American Beauty, of course, on the edge, but I do have to come up. Oh, can you see? Yeah. I do have to come up and put it here. Okay. And, yeah, I kind of think I like that. Now, the other thing you want to do is look at them. See who could be rounder. This guy could be rounder. Because once it's fired, you're kind of out of luck. This guy's on top here. Look at him. Decide who's on top. This guy's on top here. This guy's on top here. The final fire, you can put some black in or a dark color in, and that will help define who's on top. But right now, the best thing you can do is just make sure that you've got your your edges outlined, that you're not outside of the color. Okay, pick it all up. All right, those are my purple ones. Moss green now for this group. And I'm not using a lot of moss green. I'm only using it kind of, sort of, at the bottom just to give it some more color because I want them to be green grapes. So with them, I am just sort of putting it on one side or where the green was before a little bit, just so I can kind of get a feel for what I'm going to see there. This guy's kind of buried, so he'll be a good one. Although he had really good white there and I didn't want to wreck it. Okay. Okay. That gives me an idea. So now, again, I'm using the blue again for a uh, shadow. I'm using... Um, in this case, though, um, if you have blue-black, oops, here are some dots. I don't want those dots. Oh, it's too late, I guess. No, it's not there. Um, if you have blue-black, this would be a good time to use it. If not, you can use your royal blue or your cobalt blue. Mix a little black into it. But a blue-black with this green really... Um, really does a nice a nice job and so I would encourage you to use that if you have it. So here's blue black up here you can see this one this one and this one all are underneath this guy and then there's something back there that's just blue black I don't know what so you see how I'm using the blue black I I'm sorry I love blue black. There is something about it. I it's one of those colors, remember we were talking about a color that goes on easily. Oops, I don't want it quite that dark there. Um, this, is, this is one of those. This is one of those colors that just, it flows on so easy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a little chartreuse with it or a little moss with it. I think probably moss. Because I want to kind of tone it down a little, so I'll do like a, almost like a full load of moss and a side load of my blue-black. And I know it wasn't one of the colors I gave you, so if you don't have it, don't worry about it. But um, you can make these any color you want. 
my colors are not important. The, the key is you should have at least two colors to each one. Okay, that's, that's really what we're aiming for, two colors to each one. And however you want to put that on there is up to you, and it's fine, and it doesn't matter. Um, they don't have to be realistic. It's called artistic license. So if, you've, if you're doing them and they're not turning out like real, real grapes and your, your, you know, your kids or your, somebody standing over you and going, that's not a real grape. Just tell them, don't worry about it. You're using artistic license. Okay, here I'm just going to go around this side. And then back here I have like where you don't have anything. And there's a situation here that I'll have to correct. But you're going to just put in the darkest color you have. Just tap it in there and then kind of start to smooth it a little bit. Just to take the dark, take it away. Obviously there's something behind it. See how weird it looks right now? And you can fix that. But um, like here, see, I'll just pull that in there. That'll fix that end here. I'm gonna make this grape a little more on top. So I made it a little lighter. I'm gonna make it a little lighter there. And this one's already kind of lighter. So I'm just gonna, there. And then that just recedes into the background and nobody really cares what it, what it is. Okay. We're back to moss green on this guy. Now, these guys, I found that I tended to take too much color off of them. So I'm going to be very careful now and just push the, uh, I mean, more, took the, too much highlight off of them. So I'm going to be very careful right, right now and try to keep the, um, The highlight to a minimum keep the highlight there and just uh, keep the paint to a minimum right now we've got another fire to go and that'll kind of straighten it all out so and right here I did put that in it's too dark pull it across pull it down pull it around tap it with your finger are these yeah it's still all in okay And this guy is under the one on top. He's under this guy. So you want to, and see, I've got a line there. You don't want that line. Pull it, even if I have to pull it over like that. And then just take your thing here and wipe it out. Because you don't want a line on here. If you get a line, you're going to get build up. If you get build up, it's going to look yucky. You don't want it to look yucky. Okay. Right here, I need a little more dark. Okay. Now, we're getting down into the know-nothings down here, the little guys that don't really matter. I'm just going to plop some green on them. Okay. And then I'm going to clean my brush real well. I'm going to do a full load of moss green with a side load of that shading brown. And um, you're going to start here. This guy is under that one. So I do this. And then just pull this down a little bit. I've got a little line there. I'm going to soften it. Use my finger. Here you need a little blue up in here with a little green. Full load greens, side load blue. And we're gonna, where was I? Oh, here. That's better. I kinda like that. I need a little blue up in here. This is where I was. Just on a, you just do, like if you want to put this guy behind, if you just do a little curve, clean off your brush and then pull this way across. You'll kind of, and then do it one more time. Just you don't want that build up there. Try very hard. The round is hard to get build up free. And oh, too many crickets. I didn't want that there. 
hang on, let me start over here. Oh, I'm going to take like a chartreuse here and I'm just going to, there we go. Okay, and this guy, I'm going to give him a little bit of a highlight back because his highlight got sorely lost there. Yeah, you can use your fingers on these. These are easy. They're always, they're finger, finger friendly. Now these, I'm not doing a whole lot on because these are the guys that are just down at the bottom. They're supposed to look nice and be round. That's about it. Some of mine are not that round. Hang on, I'm going to change brushes. I'm on a too thick a brush to try to make those work. I'm going down to my 1 8 inch. This little itty bitty baby one. Okay. Full load of green, a side load of, oh, here. This needs it. There. Okay. Need a little more blue. This is hard because you have to you have to try to see it the way it should be. But remember, we're going to do another uh, fire on this. So if you don't get the shading quite right, you still have another fire to play with. That. Okay, this guy up here, we're going to do heliotrope and. Um, American Beauty. So I'm just going to do a little heliotrope here and here um, and here and I don't want to go under there because I'm going to get it too messed up. So I'm going to start now with the ones that are going underneath the back here and just bring it around. I'm mixing my heliotrope full load with a half load of American Beauty. It actually makes a beautiful color. And then I'm pulling it out with the heliotrope. Or you could even use an air blue if you needed to. It's very pretty. The, helio uh, the American Beauty is what's giving me my, my darker color here. Heliotrope and American Beauty. There we go. Big, swirly strokes. That's what you're doing. Big, swirly strokes. You're trying to get that round thing going in your, in your head there. Now, um, I'm going to do the leaves. Um, you're going you're gonna to be surprised what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this one first. I'm going to do it in American Beauty, or you can use Violet of Iron, like I just said. It, 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 actually, um, Violet of Iron is something I would have used before I never even knew about American Beauty. So, But um, what I'm going to do is just start with American Beauty. You go, American Beauty, oh my God. And just pull it across. These are long strokes where I'm lifting, lifting, lifting. I'm going to just come down and do along the bottom here. Just the bottom of this leaf where it touches the other leaf. I kind of do those little indents first and then just sort of pull it out. And it might be too much, and you might get too much on there. And if you do, don't worry about it. There's a way to take care of it. I'm doing my uh, that's how I do my veins. I just um, put it on and kind of pull it down a little, and it'll give you veins. With a big piece like this, you can do that. And then I'm going to wipe my brush off. 
I'm going to put a little more American Beauty just on the edges, and I'm going to come up here and hit the edges. Oh, can you see? Yeah, you can see that. Good. And I'm going to hit the edges all the way up. Oops, I need more oil. I'm sorry, I would do this faster if I could, but I think I would drive everybody crazy if I did too fast. And just hit the edges. Just touch the edges. Then turn it around. Uh, there. And pull it down. And pull it up. And on this side, we're just going to pull it up a little. Till it sort of fades out. Now, if it's not fading out on its own, you can go back this way. And then you can do the cross hatch, and that will help it. This is a little too, too much up in here. I'm going to... I'm a big finger person, aren't I? Yeah. Put a little up in here and maybe a little over in here and then I'm gonna pull this down and back a little just so it's not quite so intense alrighty I'm going to start adding in well first of all I, I like a little orange on the edge so I'm gonna get a little orange here whatever orange you have is fine and I'm just gonna add a little orange just a little you want to kind of make it a little darker. Oh. Just to let it blend in a little more. And then I'm going to take um, my either brown green if you have it. If you have autumn green, that's a good color. It doesn't matter what color you use here. Uh, it can be any of those colors. Yeah. Hmm. You don't want to go too close to the edge of this leaf because this leaf is on top. Okay. Put it down between them. And this is where, in order to build it up on the leaf, you're layering it like this. So you're doing that layer, then you're coming on top and doing this layer, then you're coming on top and doing this layer. That's how I'm doing it there. It's a little odd, but it seems to work. I load my brush about half full with the color, and I just start adding it, and I'm just very gentle about adding it. I don't want to add too much, but I don't want to have nothing, you know? So, and I'm, you can always do like a, a C stroke to kind of help pull you out of it, and then you can pull it this way to get it up into the leaf. And then I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this, this, and I'm going to do this, and this. There we go. And then I'm going to put a little on this side, because it does need a little on that side, but I'm going to aim it towards the midline, towards the uh, vein, the middle vein. There we go. And I'll just pull this out now. Okay. Those grapes may be a little bit weird in there, and you can always just help them out a little. There you go. Okay. Now this is the, uh, this one, I, I kind of like it, uh, but I want to add a little, I think I want to add a little more color to it. So I'm using a little bit of rich brown with a little bit of orange, and I'm just going in here and sort of, adding a little color just around these guys a little bit down in here flip it around can you see what i'm doing mm, i have to move down again i'm right up here okay and here and just pull it out a little there we go and i'm going to put a little more brown on the end i think oh not that much that rich brown can be very potent, so watch it when you're using it. It can, it can really get to you. It can do a lot of weird things. And then we'll put these guys in. 
I don't like this up here. You can always take it out and go back and fix it. Remember, this is your painting. You, you decide what colors you want in it and how you want it to look. I'm going to put a little more of the orange up in there. Okay, pull this down a little. That's better. And over. Okay, now I have one more leaf I wanted to put on. I'm going to use um, like a, a an auburn if you have it. If you don't have auburn, uh, geez, you could use a warm brown gray. You could even use a gray, put a little brown in it. Um, that would kind of give you the color that I want up there, but it, it's entirely up to you, whatever color you want to put up there. This is a little heavy. There we go. This is a shadow leaf. And I'm just going to pull it down right up to these guys behind it here. Try not to hurt them. It can be light on this, this fire. Oh, there, he's out of the, out of the thing, huh? Okay, let's bring him in. All right, and here, we're gonna put a little, let me turn it this way. I'm gonna put a little brown here. Come on, get on there for me. Little brown here, here, here. That's the reason I drew in the leaf in the background. I didn't want it just to appear. I wanted it to be kind of, kind of a real leaf. Can you still see? Yes, you can. But I'm keeping it real flat. Just putting the color on it there, like that. I just want it to have some kind of, and then if you want to, you can go like this and give it a little more character. And over on this side, I think I need to do the same thing. I think I need to cut in here and cut in here. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. There, that's better. Okay, so then I've got my shadow up there. Um, I'm not going to, I don't think I need to explain how to do these smaller leaves at the bottom, um, but I will kind of give you a... a, a a quickie on the the branches are simple you're going to take it because i don't want to take up all your time you're going to take your liner and you're just going to use brown and go over these twisty things with the branches i'm just going to take um my liner i think my liner or a thin brush whatever you have and i'm just gonna take a little bit of dark and just do under here And just dance around like you normally do with this stuff. And if that's not dark enough for you or too dark for you, you can always pull it out with a brush a little bit like this. And that'll give you your branch. Okay, so the branches are fairly simple. The only other thing we have are these leaves. The inside of these leaves will be a darker color than the outside because they're kind of folded on themselves. So let me give you this guy. This guy's an easy one to do. Um, he's like a, I put a little blue in him. I don't know why, but I kind of like the blue. You're gonna start with the darker color on the inside and you're gonna just gently, and I mean gently. Oops. I'm using a little bit of the rich brown, which can be extremely dark. You're going to just, here we go, use that light stroke, and pull it across, and anywhere that there's uh, an indent in the leaf, you're going to go in with it, and then come back out. And then you're going to turn it around, and you're going to down here, you're going to just pull it down a little bit like that. And you can almost leave it like that. I'm not here. Let me try it with this brush. It's not doing what I want it to do. Here we go. There we go. Sometimes it's your brush, so don't always give up. It might be the brush that you're using that's just not 
cooperating with you. Okay, so there's the dark there. And down here, I'm going to do about the same thing. I'm going to turn it this way. I might put a little orange in it. You can do anything you want. And I'm going to come down here, fill it in, go up to where the leaf has an indent, and just keep going around that way. Come down, go up, come down, and then just, oops, and then just pull it out very gently. And if it's still giving you a hard time, which mine seems to be giving me, then take a dry brush, one that you haven't used, and just pull over it very gently. And that should straighten it out. There we go. Because that was driving me nuts. And then if it's gone out of its area over on this side, you just need to cut around it with whatever you have, eraser, whatever. But just make sure that you get out all the extra bits. Then you're going to take your lighter color and you're going to do that on this other side. You're going to take like a chartreuse with a little bit of warm brown green or whatever color you have. And you're just going to put the dark at the bottom on this. I don't know why that is, but it is. And then there you go. It just looks a little better. On this one, you can put the dark at the top if you want. See what the difference is and then decide which one you like. I always like the dark at the bot at the top. I don't know. That's just me. Remember, these are not. Don't get don't get hung up on these leaves. These leaves are not the end all be all. If anything, they're supposed to be an afterthought. This is what we're, we're we've gotten done so far today. It's not hard. It isn't hard. You just need to slow down and think about very strongly which one's on top, which one's below. And then the one that's below, you need to add the appropriate shading. And it will be so that it, the one on top is lighter than the one below. I mean, that's what it boils down to. Well, thank you for tuning in. Pick up those brushes, keep painting, and I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the program. And I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe so that other people can learn more about China painting and we can get the word out to more people. Uh, you also can look at the links below. Uh, my paintandporcelain.com website has a lot of freebies and printables for uh, new and experienced painters, as well as studies, supplies, and even some of my hand-painted china. So thank you again, and I'll see you next time.